In the previous video, we saw how to create org structure through simple maintenance method. Now we will see how to create through export mode. For export mode, we go either through T code PP01 or through SAP menu. So let's see how to create org structure through SAP export mode. Today we will see how to create org structure with export export mode. So this is the SAP menu. We go to human resources, then organizational management in that export mode. So these are the transactional codes PO10 for creation of organizational unit, PO03 for job, PO13 for position. P001 for work center, PFCT for task, PP01 general. That is, you can create uh, everything. Is it? Okay. So the other way can be, you can directly go to this T code PP01. EP01 So this is the screen for PP01 maintain object So object includes org unit position person job Okay, so now in expert mode. I will be creating org unit. I will be creating position then I will be assigning this position to the person that is the holder. So I will select the object type as org unit. This should be blank because this we are creating object ID for the org unit. So what I will do is I will select this object and I will click create. Here you can see the planning status is active. Here the object ID is not seen yet. Okay, this is the date, start date and the end date. Object abbreviation and the object name. So I am creating a department that is an organi organizational unit. So I'm giving the abbreviation as a marketing. Object name is marketing department, and I will save this. Okay, so the name of the org unit is marketing department. Here you can see the org unit which we have created now is reflecting 5007905. So remember this org unit ID. Now relationship. So here the relationship is A002. Reports to. And the type of related object is org unit. So, I want to assign this org unit to the root org unit. So, what I will be doing is, I will select the root org unit, which I had created. So, here you can see when I put this ID, I get the root org unit, which I had created, HCL org department. So, I am assigning a relationship between these two org units. That is, the relationship type is this org unit, which I have created new, it reports to the root org unit, which I have created, HCL org department. Okay. So, this is the child unit this is the parent unit you can say 
and I'm saving this. So by with this record or screen, we have created a relationship. First, we created the object that is org unit. This is the object ID for the dog unit. And now we are assigning a relationship between the root org unit and the newly created org unit that is marketing department. I'm saving this. You, you can see that the object is marked as green as well as the relationship is marked as green. That means these two info types are created for this org unit so i will copy this org unit so i create the first step is completed that is creation of our org unit now the second step is to create position what i will do is i will select position here since i have to create a position removing this object id because i will be creating a new position I'll select the object by selecting object i am creating an object id that is a position id click on create okay so you here you can see the object id is 000 because we have not yet created the position so the awk unit name was marketing department now i will be creating the position so i am giving it as marketing manager manager okay so the name of the position is marketing manager i am saving this So this is the position which has been created marketing manager 5014652 okay and this is the relationship info type so the relationship type is a003 belongs to so here what i am doing is i am assigning this position to the org unit which i created okay so the type of related object is org unit I'm pasting the org unit which I created. So here you can understand the relationship is this position that is a marketing manager belongs to this org unit. The ID of related object is the pos the org unit created. Okay, we save this. So here you can see the two info types are created object and relationships. Now after creating the position, we will assign this position to an employee that is a person or the holder. So our first step was to create org unit, the second step was creating a position okay so we have assigned this position to the org unit through the relationship okay now we'll be assigning an a person or holder to this position so i have selected position here and then in relationship i will create a new relationship here I will be assigning this position to a person. Select a person here. The relationship will be a bottom up. Okay. Zero zero eight.
Now let's enter. You can see. So this person, the employee ID will, which I'll be entering here, will be a holder to this position. So I'm entering the employee ID. Okay. Let's enter. So this employee is filling the vacancy here. Okay. So this position is vacant. So this position will be filled by this person. For this, I will show you in PA30 screen. We'll check this employee has any position assigned or not first because this is done because we, uh, we assign a position to this employee during hire so this is the info type organization assignment clicking edit you can see person is not assigned any position or org unit okay so now we'll come back from this now i entered this information this position has holder as this person i'm saving this record This record has been created that means this position should be assigned to that employee let's check it in PA 30 same employee put as one click okay, overview so you can check that new record is created on 22nd may because this position was assigned on 22nd you can see this position is also assigned and the org unit is also assigned to this employee which i had created marketing department okay so this is the way we assign this position to this holder and this is the that is through export mode so we will now check whether this is all reflecting in the simple maintenance method so in the previous video we i showed you how to create an org structure in simple maintenance so We'll check whether these this org unit position and the person org uh, uh, has the same org structure in simple maintenance. So I'm going into simple maintenance and this is the ppom underscore old. You can double click this. So we have to enter the org unit. I am entering the root org unit which I had created that is HCL org department because I want to check the hierarchy, the whole reporting structure. I am clicking on reporting structure. Enter. So you can see this, this is the root org unit to which the org unit position and the holder should be reflected here so we go to view go to tab then click on org structure so here you can see marketing department dog unit which i created is assigned 
but you are not able to see the position and the holder click on staff assignments okay so you can collapse this so this arc unit this is the position expand it you can see this marketing manager has holder as this which we had created so you can see the relationship o s p the okay, org unit position and the person and this org unit is assigned to this belongs to this root org unit okay so this is the simple maintenance method and this was the expert mode okay so this is the end of the video thank you